Okay, again, as we covered in volume one, uh, E, the E vowel only gets two vowel modifications, E and E, E and E. So we're going to go through, and uh, again, if you need to refer, please refer to volume one for this, because I'm not going to go through everything over and over again, but we're just going to go E. a lot of mask on. And what is mask? Mask is the idea of smiling as you sing, okay? Sounds creepy, but it works. Um, e, 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 E. So what we've done is we've taken the cord, we've opened up the throat, the open throat technique for open throat mechanism, okay? And as we've taken this, it's the la, a, a, o, u. We covered the u vowel in vol volume one. Now E, we're re discussing E. We still have that same sensation that the throat feels open in the back of the cord, okay? However, we're gonna now add one more release or a relief tension concept, which is called mask. As I go up, as I'm smiling really big. E -e 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 If you don't want to sing that hard, if you don't want to sing that heavy, okay, if you're an R&B guy again, is we bring that sound into the front of the face. So we bring it up into the head for a la, ah, ah, the real ah sound, a la, ah, e. we bring it up into the head and we drop it down into the front of the face through our nasal cavities here and we smile into the sound e okay you hear that so actually this will now create and relieve more tension e said that EH only you only get two vowel modifications for E, right? You can go back to a spot on E. So e I'm over exaggerating it for you so you can hear it. E jogging between E and A to relieve the tension in the chest, neck, and throat. E
remember, pull the chest up as high as you can before you hand it off into the head. Come back out of the head, back into the chest as soon as you can to get back into the chest to again grow the mid voice. Oops. Smile bright. Sing that bottom too heavy. We're going to on the bottom. Sing that bottom really gentle so you can save sound pressure for as you go up to the top and not lock the larynx down. We also talked again, I'm going to re recap this one more time, that it's sort of like a, the, the, as you have pillars, it's like an elevator. As we're going up the elevator shaft, each floor represents a note. We have this rocket ship that's going up, and as we go up, we, we relieve the tension. You wouldn't sit there and carry a barbell like this and just and, and hold your dead weight up like this and constantly hold onto it. No, you, you bring it to here and then you relax and then you put it up to here and then you hold it there and then you drop the weight, right? Well, this is true for when we sing. As we're going up the scale, we drop away stage three of the rocket, right? The three stages so that we shed the weight and we pare the sound down to make the sound smaller so it doesn't splat and get away from us as we go up. So... So I'm on the eval, which is a very hard bell song. Right? Now, if you notice, when I hit that note, I'm actually relaxing into the sound and letting the resonance take over the sound. Rather than, I mean, I'm not, you know, killing you. I'm finessing my way into the sound to relax into the sound. And then it's the relaxing into that that builds the resonance. And once the resonance starts to resonate and hit that little amphitheater, the right pocket with the right vowel modification with good support and good posture, all of a sudden, It takes over. It gets bigger and bigger. Or, yeah! I mean, if you're a heavy metal guy and you want whatever you want to do with it, right, is that sound will take over and get big and give you the response that you're looking for without killing yourself and without tearing the cord and literally throat bleeds and cramming so much air across the cord that causes hoarseness and eventually polyps uh, and or nodes or calluses on the cord that actually destroy the cord. Okay? Let's keep moving. <laughs> 